This demonstration will illustrate one method, one method of many, for producing a simple video with titles and a uh, end credits. Quickly, going over where, where we are headed, we have the video, we have the audio associated with that video, and then we have the beginning credits and the end credits. The beginning credits fade out, and this line defines that fade, and the end credits fade in. And once again, this line defines the fade. Up to the top here means 100% uh, video content. And when it's down here, it means zero. The way that Multiquence works, this is a uh, goldwave.com product. Very nice little video editor. The way it works is the bottommost layer is the one that takes precedent. So since this is set to 100%, it covers up these frames here. Whereas when the timeline moves along here and we're down to zero, that means this is totally faded out and the track that's above it is now fully displayed. So keep that in mind that the top tracks are covered up by the lower tracks. Think of it as if you're looking up at things being painted on the sky and you're down below here. Well, whatever is in the way is what you see. And the things behind that aren't visible. Okay, let's start a new project and we'll reassemble this. So we go to File, New. We don't need to save changes to this project. Whenever you do a new project, you already have a beginning track. So let's go to Track, Add Video Section. Now I'm going to navigate to where I happen to have uh, that video. It's a MOV file captured off my camera. Here's the file. Um, at this point, I'm ready to add some titles. The titles I'm going to add are ones that I prepared using Photoshop. Consequently, I will use Add Image Section. But before I can add the image section, I need to create a new track that will accept these title sections. So there's the new track. And now when I go to Add Image Section, here's the title frame. And see this little thing here? That is a section. Let me add the uh, end credits. So I'll go to Track, Add Image Section, and here's the end credits. There's another little section. I'm going to drag that over. there's the end section separated. Now I want these to be a bit longer so I right click on it and I go to section options and see up here where it says time in the upper left? Let's make that 10 seconds. We'll do the same for the uh, end afterward. I right click and click sec section options. We'll make that 10 seconds. Click OK. I'm going to visually line this up we're almost done. Except I don't want my end credits and my uh, beginning title to be actually 10 seconds long. What I want to do is fade in after say two or three seconds of solid title I'm going to fade it out and I'll fade it very fast and then slower and at the end I'm going to have maybe three seconds of full afterward and I will fade into that with a fast ramp. So let's take a look. Before they do that, before we do that, I want to make 
our display a little larger if we click this button right here that takes us to the beginning. There's our credits. Now they fade out. Click the stop button over here. I want to see that a little larger. So to the far right there's this little, I don't know, it looks a little bit like a monitor graphic. So we click on that and I'm going to drag that over here in the middle. Now watch what happens when I click on the go button, go to the front and play. There's our titles, they fade out and now they're gone. So I'm going to click stop and I'm going to move my blue cursor close to the end so we don't have to wait too long to see the results and instead of clicking this first button which goes to the beginning and plays we're going to click this button which basically means go to the cursor bar and play from there so I click that and now we'll see the end credits fading in that's it here let me uh, close this down and you'll notice that it pops back up here into the upper left that's basically one method of putting in titles admittedly I used the a graphic prepared in Photoshop or whatever uh, graphic program you prefer to use there's also a fine uh, titling component in Multiquence itself. This example I just happened to be using the uh, titles that I created in Photoshop. In order to produce the video I click on File, Save As Video and then I navigate to where I want to save it. I'll put in a name like um, Test AVI. I've already used that. And I click Save it's telling me there's already such a video. Do I want to replace it? And I say yes. Then you select whatever codex you choose. I happen to be using DivX. You may select a different one. I like this particular codex for the moment. That means until someone clues me into a better codex. Click OK. And it's mixing in a few moments I will have a finished video that I can upload to um, YouTube. Alright, good luck with your videos and um, if you have any questions don't be afraid to contact.